present and future value of an income stream. So let's say we have this taco stand for sale and um, we're viewing it as a business and I want to buy this taco stand business. My research shows that a steady stream of $1,000 per year of profit can be made operating the business. So that's steady, it comes in every hour, every day, steady. Uh, so that's different than one chunk of pay per year. It's not coming in one chunk, chunk. it's steady streaming in the way you would have it if people were walking by paying. Okay, um, I want to make back the purchase price of the business in four years. How much should I pay for the business assuming that the interest rate is 3% and it's compounded continuously? Okay, we need to find the present value of the income stream. So here's how we're going to do it. We make a little timeline here from now to the four year mark. And we mark off a representative time location somewhere on that line. And we realize that during a delta T time period, there'll be some money that came in there for profit. So how much money is that? At the T year mark, in a delta T time period, there's gonna be streaming in there a thousand dollar per year rate times the amount of time it lasts for, which is just delta T years. That'll be the profit earned during that delta T chunk of time. The years cancel out, and so you're just gonna get this amount of money earned uh, in profit from that one delta T time chunk located at T year mark. So the present value of this thousand delta T chunk of money is right here. It's the present value is B E to the negative R T as we've seen before in other videos. Uh, and that's just solving again from this. The balance is a principal E to the R T. Now we always have to be careful about what this T means up there, but we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so here it is. Um, a thousand delta T chunk and the present value is back at the beginning if we put that present value in for T years to come up to that moment what would we have to put in to achieve a thousand delta T dollars so a thousand delta T dollars is at the moment of the T years we're going backwards to the present value and seeing what that present value is equal to. So then we add up all those present values. So the present value of the income stream in total is as the T ranges over zero to four years. Here's what your uh, chunks of uh, money were and how long they would be in the account for viewed from a present value point of view. So the total present value of the income stream is this integral, and uh, by Simpson 200, that comes out to be $3,769.32. So I would pay that amount of money for the taco truck business if I wanted to make back the purchase price in exactly four years. What is the future value, in case you want to analyze that, at the T equal four year mark of the $1,000 per year income stream? Knowing that I'm gonna make $1,000 per year, what will that be worth in the four year mark? Assuming the same 3% interest rate 
compounded continuously. Two ways to do it. One, the fancy calculus way. What will a thousand delta t dollars accumulate to at the four year mark? So you put it in here, but it isn't in there for t years. It's in there for four minus t years, the rest of it. Because you want to know what it's going to be and accumulate into of the rest of the time period until the four year mark. See, that's different than the present value. The present value is t years to get the, the mark. Now it's four minus t years when you're at the t mark all the way to the end. So that's the difference. So a thousand delta t dollars will be put in at the t year mark and accumulate for four minus t years till the end. So we'll have a future value of, and this is where I was careful about how to say this, the balance will be the present value of when that was put in. You see, it was put in t. So we're not talking about the present value, we're talking about principal here, put in at time t. And so it'll be in there accumulating over the time invested and that's the four minus t years. So here is your principal being put in there at the 0.03 rate for the remainder of the time till the four year mark, which is four minus t years. So then you add up all those future values for all the possible t values as t goes from uh, zero to four years and your total future value of the income stream at the four year mark will be this sum and then the integral it'll be exactly this and I evaluate that with Simpson 200 and got this so the whole business profit will be worth four thousand two hundred forty nine dollars and ninety cents at the four year mark method two to get that same number. Instead of doing, going for the future value first, what you do is you get the present value first and that going through the calculus and that all ended up being this number and then you put that in the Algebra 2 formula for the balance after the four years of putting in this present value principle to accumulate up in four years, work that out, and you get exactly the same thing as you got here. So that's just another way to do it. Of course, you have to get the present value first, so there is an amount of work there.